So Haskell Day at Monmouth was a huge success. They got over 38,000 people there, which I think was the, the largest crowd they've gotten since American Pharaoh. I can't explain it, why that happened. There was like no triple crown winner or anything. And maybe the people were just so happy it wasn't 110 degrees that they all flocked in droves down to the shore. So it was a great day. It was a great day for Mark Cassie. We're going to talk to Mark in a little bit. Got the hottest hottest barn in America right now. He won seven races on Saturday, including three stakes. But obviously the headliner of the day is Doorknock, who went wire to wire in the Haskell. Set very similar layout and very similar outcome from the Belmont. And mind frame basically coming up to him in mid-stretch. They're a little further apart this time, I think. But basically mind frame looking like he's going to run right on by Doorknock. And Doorknock said, nah, I don't think so, dude. I got You might have the talent. I got the guts. And that, to me, is the biggest takeaway from this Triple Crown season is that we underestimated the hell out of Dorna. Mm-hmm. And we said it when he won the Fountain of Youth over a couple of tomato cans only by a length and a half. And he got drubbed in the bluegrass. Didn't run well in the Derby, but Danny Gargan never lost faith in that horse along the way, kept putting him in big spots, and now he's rewarded him two times in a row, winning the Belmont and the Haskell, and he just has the 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 uh, the moxie, I think, mm-hmm. to turn back horses, which is something you really need, especially in a three-year-old division that is pretty evenly matched right now. He's the leader, but the fact that he's now won a dogfight with arguably, you know, pound for pound more talented horse twice in a row and mind frame has kind of blown it twice in a row i think is significant and there's he's going to take some beating now especially if he runs big in the travers like it might be lights out for the three-year-olds and, and joe it's interesting you bring up the the word confidence because i would certainly use that adjective um for both uh groups whether it was danny gargan himself about doorknock um or if it was mike rapoli about mind frame um they both came in pretty freaking confident that that their horses were going to run well um so much so that that like mike even brought literally a camera crew with him um to, to watch him the whole day i think they had very high expectations for mind frame and and i agree with your sentiment mind frame is the better more talented horse um but there's a difference between talent and winning and sometimes the difference comes down to you know post position which certainly doorknock you know having the one hole and basically staying on the rail the entire time made a huge difference where mind frame had to go around some horses um but also heart and and as joe as you you always saying you got to have heart and and that certainly is what doorknock has he's got heart he's got the moxie he's got the gonads um to be able to do things and and in watching mind frame who again i i think is the more talented horse in in my opinion um i don't know if mind frame shied away from the crowd noise or you know or or was just because he's so inexperienced it was only his fourth start of his career versus doorknock's ninth start and that makes a huge difference at at, at this stage of the game um to me it's like when you watch babies run and some of them have run once and some of them have never run before the horses that have run once have a significant, significant advantage. And I think the same thing holds true here where Doorknock ninth start versus mind frame fourth start. Um, it made a huge difference for them. I, if mind frame wasn't so royally bred and, you know, twice uh, finished second in, in, in separate grade ones, I may, if I was the owner, I may say to the trainer, is this the kind of horse that either we need to put cotton in his ears or more drastic, maybe geld because he's not focused enough. Um, obviously, you wouldn't do the latter with with mind frame at this point. Um, but certainly, you know, from from a pound for pound talent, I give the edge to one horse. But from his record, you know, Dornock has now won. Uh, you know, two grade twos and two grade ones and is looking like the prohibitive favorite for three-year-old Colt of the year. I would have an argument with you that maybe Thorpedo Anna, maybe, uh, you know, with her, what was that her, her third grade one win of the year, that she may be atop the overall three-year-old uh, group as a, uh, as a class. <laughs> 